Okay, so Portswigger released some new labs called Web Cache Deception. I didn't know anything about it until I read this, three quarters of which I understand. So I figured I'd try the first lab, which is exploiting path mapping for Web Cache Deception. Uh, we just need the API key for Carlos. Right, let's have a look. So if we go here, I've set the lab up. Uh, it doesn't say, oh, hang on. Let's go into the proxy, history, login. And just thinking about it. Uh, my understanding is essentially the cache stores something it shouldn't. In this case, we're hoping it will be the API key, but not ours. So if we go into our, uh, try and do it here, I guess. Um, so JS files, CSS files, stuff like that. If I just do that, see what happens. Basically, it ignores the end of it. The framework whatever has been used here but the cache sees a .js file so it caches it it's my understanding anyway let's have a look so if i send that to repeater and you'll notice here x cache miss so it didn't cache but now if we send this again i'm hoping it'll be a hit which it is so that means this here is now in the cache which anyone can access so uh how do we do this let's, let's go to uh, exploit server oh just think about it right so what do we want something real simple um window.location that and script might change the name because it's 30 seconds which i think it's been more than but cool so now the idea is carlos will open up this link it will cache it and we will be able to access it okay so now if we go to that url it should be in the cache but we should see a different name. But who knows? Cool. There we are. Okay. So that is the solution. And cool.